I've seen Kurt Cameron save Christmas by showing Santa Claus beating a man to death, and I've also seen him kidnap children and then tell them that they're dead and in heaven. Which sort of explain the origin of Jesse Smollett. So believe me when I tell you that the Kurt Cameron Rapture movie is probably his most normal one yet. Left Behind, or as it's fully called, Left Behind the Movie. Oh, as opposed to what? The book? Alright, oh, that, uh, that actually is what it means. This 2000 film is based on the series of End Times novels by Jerry Jenkins and Tim LaHaye. Upon release, the film was billed as the biggest and most ambitious Christian film ever made. It looks like the Israeli Air Force never sleeps. <laughs> yeah, move over, Cecil B. DeMille. We've got director Vic Sarin, who I'm sure has made other things, but more importantly, it's from screenwriter Alan McElroy. Who better to write the biggest Christian film ever than the writer of Halloween 4, Spawn, and Wrong Turn? We're gonna see some quality hell special effects here. As for who made the movie... Stupid Pure Flicks! Oh, sorry, I, I didn't even look at that logo. What did it say? This is a film that will surely answer all of the questions. How do you describe both a beginning and an end? I'd call it a 3 X structure. The nerve of Kirk Cameron naming archaeological findings after himself? I see this is the skyline of Jerusalem. No wonder it looks like a stack of presents. This film is truly epic. Effects so good, I'm wondering when the mega shark and giant octopus will show up. Kurt Cameron stars as ace reporter Buck Williams. Dr. Rosenzweig, it looks like Iowa. No, it doesn't. It looks nothing like heaven. Buck is instantly attacked. It's the only way we could stop him from kidnapping children from orphanages. But meanwhile, in Wing Commander, a surprise air raid is happening in Jerusalem. This buttercream gang adventure is escalating quickly. This was Kirk's big comeback after growing pains. And one thing is for sure... No jamming on monitors. It's a cruel trick. Only one way to find out. No! He still got it. Hyperbolic news is always hyperbolic. This has got to be the biggest surprise attack since Pearl Harbor. Oh, pre-9-11 movies. That's... Buck would have filmed Hiroshima from ground zero if he'd been there. Yeah, that's our Buck. Buck's known for his Blair Witch-style reporting under bad special effects and also using a butt plug as a microphone. His Johnny on the Spot interviews are really what he's best known for. War will continue until the end. Desolations have been decreed. You know, you could have just stayed in Chicago. You could have run into about a hundred of these guys on any street corner. Speaking of, yes, thank you. No need to location splain to me. This here is pilot Rayford Steele, played by Brad Johnson, but later to be played by Nick Cage. Buck works for GNN, by the way, putting this in the Schumacher Batman universe. Dad's gonna miss the kid's birthday, but it's okay. They'll be raptured before he gets back, along with the weird neighbor. Come on in, Bruce. Hey, Bruce, how's it going, What's man? up, birthday boy? Don't kiss my son. I think Dad's mainly leaving to get away from the corny soundtrack. All in serious danger. We're cursed with comically large coats, like in a body switch movie. And that Kirk movie was much worse than this. And I don't know about Buck's sources. Don't you see? It's always about the money, isn't it? What do you know about life? Right? Come on, he must have said something. Come on, Dark. come on. Think, think, Buck, think! This guy is one rabbit hole away from becoming a flat earther. I don't care what kind of paperwork he has. Look at this. Stonicle's plan for the world. Come on, Dirk, this is an old college essay. 
and yeah, the teacher graded it TLDR. Buck has more important things to do, like piece together this shitty Merlin movie. Might I add, not the best screensaver in the world. Go back to using the 3D maze. Who knew a movie about a rapture would be so unfocused? It's been a dream ever since Cain looked sideways at Abel. Pick a lead character! Guess this is important. Here we meet the Antichrist, Nikolai Carpathia, played by Gordon Curry. How am I supposed to follow this guy? He couldn't even make it off the boat to get to Manhattan. They desperately want Nikolai to deliver on world peace and, um, diamonds, maybe. Probably diamonds. I'm sure it's got something to do with diamonds. I don't like it, John. Neither do I. Can the rapture happen to get rid of a few of these plot lines? Well, I'd say that Mr. Burton will have to sacrifice his pension. Who's that? Oh, great. Introduce the flight attendant as a character. Sure. I know, I've been a little anti-social this flight. So, how's my favorite flight attendant? You're biased! That's your real-life wife! And she's cheating on Kirk with Rayford Steele. Why is she cheating? Because his name is Rayford Steele. That just screams 13-inch dick. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, the highly anticipated rapture. Honey? Where are you? Ooh, these rapture effects are great. Whoa, no one told me this was a streaking flight. This red eye's gonna see a lot more brown eye. There is good news, though. Where, where are my kids? No more kicking the back of my goddamn seat. I knew I shouldn't have had sex with that sheep. Yeah, okay, I guess this is suspenseful. But you know what would make it better? If it were a David A.R. White action movie like Revelation Road. Adios, amigo. <laughs> yes, take all my diamonds. Meanwhile, on the ground, this has nothing to do with the rapture. It's just a Final Destination movie in progress. Even Jerry Reed has been raptured, but Fred the Dog is still with us. And worse yet, someone's unleashed a thousand live snakes on the plane! Thank God they left us with the most dramatic cinematographer in the business. God, this is a handsome zoom. So much chaos! Oh, dang. I shouldn't have banged that sheep. Well, I know one movie that's a total lie. Oh, and the president's dead from the one scenario not covered by Tom Brokaw. All right, fine. You look kind of like Sam Neill from The Omen 3. You can be the world president. Not exactly sure why Buck wasn't raptured, but I'm sure it's got something to do with these dance moves. Buck has the right idea. If demons show up, Ray is the one who looks the most like Bruce Campbell, so he can fend them off. It was at least nice of his family to leave a message before the rapture. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Marge, has Lisa been raptured? Yeah, <laughs> guys, I'm really stretching for jokes here. This is the least bad of all the Kirk Cameron movies I've had to watch. No, my wife has gone to heaven and she's divorcing me. Could be worse. Could have happened at Medea's dinner table. He's got plenty of time to kill now, but like hell he's still gonna read Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh wait, sorry, it's the Bible. Let's give this a gander. Hmm, when you enter a town you are welcome, eat what is offered to you. Luke 10.10. 10. I understand now. Buck's friends haven't really been raptured. They're just using this as an excuse not to take his calls. Excuse me, I need to get to the airport. <laughs> okay, but that was a little harsh. Fireproof isn't worth killing someone over. And I shouldn't have videotaped Fido having sex with the sheep. Only reason Ray's daughter wasn't raptured is because she was the worst waitress at the pasta house. Too bad some of these plots are still here. How does this affect our food redistribution network? Oh boy, have I been asking myself that question. <laughs> Look, at some point, you're gonna find a former child actor sleeping on your couch. It doesn't matter if they're drunk or if they're Kirk Cameron. Buck has a plan to go to New York because, uh, I don't know, a big clothes sale. At least he has a pilot, played by Neil Crone. There's, uh, yeah, two women standing in a kitchen. One gets taken, the other one's left doing the dishes. <laughs> 
Ah, good, the spirit of Brad Stein is still with us. Damn, now she can't have a catch with her dad in Iowa's Jerusalem. Oh, wait, her dad is still here. I have been going out of my mind driving all over looking for you. Where did you go? But he's a bastard! Look, honey, it's good I'm here. The world needs at least one Tom Berenger. Meanwhile, in a bad angel telling me to do a terrible callback joke, God made an unfortunate mistake. He left the body, but he raptured the clothes. What's not a mistake, though? The cats have all been raptured because they are gods. And these security systems are rough! There is not a bullet strong enough to prevent Christmas from being saved. Or whatever the hell is going on here. Alan Tompkins? What did he send you? Who is that? Anyway, this is easier than just shooting him. Now he'll never get the email. Shooter must be a Mac guy. Oh, I guess this dude's still here. You should have stopped kissing kids' heads. And maybe practice your line reading better. I stood right here! Line. And I was good! Line. But they're gone! Line. And I'm confused as to what the real romance of the movie is. Lord, please, just use me. He already has. Now bend that ass over. Must everything here be filmed like a commercial? Thankfully, someone explains what the rapture is. Yeah, yeah, true believers sent up to heaven and then seven years of war and famine before the second coming. But the real question is, who the hell are you two? What the heck? How did Dirk get that? It's the rapture. You can say hell. Carpathia really is pulling people together. Colin Fox is here because the world still needs voice work in the Legend of Zelda cartoons. I don't know what to do with myself here. They're smoking, Kirk is drinking, and worse yet, it's Keystone Light. No wonder he's not getting into heaven. And there's something about this shot that makes me think the movie would be way more interesting if it starred Dennis Reynolds. Carpathia has other great plans. He disarms all nuclear weapons. Let's hear him out. He's the closest we have to a Billy Zabka. He'll kick the enemies in the face. Anyway, Hattie wants more of that Rayford Steel action. Maybe because his brother Remington was raptured. Too bad he dumps her and dooms her to seven years of Kirk Cameron. No one can catch a break from drama. Is that why you never had time for us? Honey, half the population is gone. Time and place. Think of what's coming next. It's gonna get a lot worse. What could be worse than this? <laughs> Left behind two and three. Mm, wait, the UN is using Carpathia to get diamonds to control food? That means they've been using Carpathia like a puppet. You mean it's... It's all about money? No, diamonds. It's always diamonds. According to the background buildings, people are still going to work, and even the homeless look better. I don't know what's so wrong here. <laughs> That's because his check engine light was raptured. Thank God you're still here, dramatic zoom. Too bad the world only has one reporter working on this, and people keep trying to kill him, when all he really needed to do was check a VHS tape out from the library. And we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Yeah, but that guy thinks the Kids' Choice Awards are sending subliminal messages from the Illuminati. What I'm gathering here is that the Antichrist will control ten kingdoms, which will control the world, and ten tracts of land. And I mean huge tracts of land! This is the most normal and least crazy-eyed I've ever seen, Kirk. Could be the booze, or it could be this. <laughs> His sister was raptured, and he doesn't have to deal with her cringy shit anymore. Plus, the burden of the crazy eyes have been put on this guy. You can feel him. You can feel God tugging at your heart. Don't ignore him, Buck. Acting. Oh, and Hattie, the flight attendant, now works at the UN for Carpathia. Sure, 
Carpathia is the new secretary of all Antichrist treasury and the department of trying not to look so evil. We've got a controversial new Israeli temple next to a mosque and business eat business business. It's the cross between Omega Code and Atlas Shrugged and no one needed. This dramatic monologue where he talks to God for the first time isn't a sign that he's a believer now. The bad soundtrack is... Ah, saved. Now, Buck, if you'll follow me, you can have front row seat to my evil plan. We are about to turn this planet into a paradise. Unimaginable. Great. The moment James Bond ascends to heaven, every Tom, Dick, and Harry tries their hand at world domination. And how the hell is James Bond in heaven? It's not talking to God that made him figure out Carpathia is the Antichrist. It's the sinister editing. Look at him, clearly evil. Nikolai, you know, that's preposterous. Do not lie to me. Seems legit. Now everyone, start sucking. Some of these people seem stupid. Alternus? Yes, sir. That's me. Of Newark, New Jersey. Why, yes, sir. Give me your sign. Well, if you're talking to the world's dumbest man, you might as well have him deliver his lines like that. <laughs> yeah, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Excellent team building. Now they can trust him. He studied antichristing by watching the baseball bat scene from The Untouchables. Hell, he brainwashes all of them to think that the dude shot himself. Only Kirk Cameron is the only one not affected by the brainwashing. <laughs> okay. And who is this speech for if their memories are wiped? Whew, not even Blondie warned us about this crazy rapture. The next seven years are going to be the worst that mankind has ever seen. Yet everyone seems fine. The rapture looks like it's the best thing to happen to this world. Sorry, but you're going to have to wait around for the sequels for the interesting things like the Tribulation. And the trilogy was complete with the 2002 film Tribulation Force and 2005's World at War. Because with this movie's $4 million budget and $4.2 million box office, um, that's technically a profit. Sure, it got bad reviews, but not if you look at the box cover, the best in the apocalyptic genre. <laughs> Mad Max? Mad Max who? Although one person didn't like it, author LaHaye, who was so dissatisfied with the quality of the film, a lawsuit was settled allowing him to remake it. Which Cloud 10 did themselves when they got the rights back. Oops. On the bright side, it's Kirk Cameron's most normal religious movie, and it's basically Thief in the Night with a sci-fi channel filter. Goody. Does this mean I have to watch the other movies in the series? Are you kidding? It always means I have to watch the other movies in the series. Especially after Lionsgate raptured my Diary of a Mad Black Woman review.